Welcome to the presentation on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. Let's get started. So I think you're going to find that multiplying and dividing negative numbers are a lot easier than it might look initially. You just have to remember a couple of rules. And I'm going to teach, probably in a future lecture, I'm actually going to give you more intuition on, on why these rules work. But first, let me just talk to teach you the basic rules. So the basic rules are, you, when you multiply two negative numbers, so let's say I had negative 2 times negative 2. First, you just look at each of the numbers as if there was no negative sign. Well, you say, well, 2 times 2, that equals 4. And it turns out that if you have a negative times a negative, that that equals a positive. So let's write that first rule down. A negative times a negative equals a positive. What if it was negative 2 times positive 2? Well, in this case, let's first of all look at the two numbers without signs. We know that 2 times 2 is 4. But here we have a negative times a positive 2. And it turns out that when you multiply a negative times a positive, you get a negative. So that's another rule. Negative times positive is equal to negative. And what happens if you have a positive 2 times a negative 2? I think you probably guessed this one right. As you, as you can tell, that these two are pretty much the same thing by the uh, what is it? I, I believe it's the, the transitive property. No, is it? no, 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 I think it's the communicative property. I have to remember that again. <laughs> but 2 times negative 2, this also equals negative 4. So we have the final rule that a positive times a negative also equals a negative. So you see here, and, and actually these, these, these second two rules, you, they're kind of the same thing. Uh, negative times a positive is a negative, or positive times a negative is a negative. You could, you could also say that as um, when the signs are different and you multiply the two numbers, you get a negative number. And of course, you already know what happens when you have a positive times a positive. Well, that's just a positive. So let's review. Negative times a negative is a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. A positive times a negative is a negative, And positives times each other equals positives. I think that last little bit completely confused you. Maybe I can simplify it for you. What if I just told you, if you, when, you're, when you're multiplying, and they're the same signs, same signs, that gets you a positive result. And different signs. different signs gets you a negative result. So that would be either a, let's say, a 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Or if I said negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1 as well. Or if I said 1 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. Or negative 1 times 1 is equal to negative 1. You see how in this, the bottom two problems, I had two different signs, I had positive 1 and negative 1. And the top two problems, this, this one right here, both ones are positive. And this one right here, both ones are negative. So let's do a bunch of problems now. And hopefully, it'll, it'll hit the point home. And, and you also can try to do all the practice problems and also give the hints and, and give you what rules to use. So that, that should help you as well. So if I said negative 4 times positive 3. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. And we have a negative and a positive. So different signs. Different signs mean negative. So negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12. And that makes sense, because we're essentially saying, what's negative 4 times itself 3 times? So it's like negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4, which is negative 12, if you've seen the video on um, adding and subtracting negative numbers. which you've probably should watch first. All right, let's do another one. What if I said minus 2 times minus 7? And you might want to pause the video at any time to see if you know how to do it, and then restart it to see what the answer is. Well, 2 times 7 is 14. And we have the same sign here. So it's a positive 14. Normally, you wouldn't have to write the positive, but that makes it a little bit more explicit. And what if I had, let me think. 
Um, 9 times negative 5. Well, 9 times 5 is 45. And once again, the signs are different, so it's a negative. And then finally, what if it, I had, let me think of some good numbers, minus 6 times minus 11. Well, 6 times 11 is 66. And then it's a negative and negative, so it's a positive. Let me give you a trick problem. What is 0 times negative 12? Well, you might say that the signs are different, but 0 is actually neither positive nor negative, And 0 times anything is still 0. It doesn't matter if the thing you multiply by is, is a negative number or a positive number. 0 times anything is still 0. So let's see if we can uh, apply these same rules to division. It actually turns out that the same rules apply. Uh, if I have 9 divided by negative 3, well, first we say, well, what's 9 divided by 3? Well, that's 3. And they have different signs, positive 9, negative 3. So different signs means a negative. 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 3. What is minus 16 divided by 8? Well, once again, 16 divided by 8 is 2, but the signs are different. Negative 16 divided by positive 8, that equals negative 2. Remember, different signs will get you a negative result. What is minus 54 divided by? minus 6. Well, 54 divided by 6 is 9. And since both terms, the divisor and the dividend, are both negative, negative 54 and negative 6, it turns out that the answer is positive. Remember, same signs result in a positive uh, quotient in this, in this example. We did it before it was product. And let's do, uh, let's do one more. Obviously, 0 divided by anything is still 0. That's pretty straightforward. And of course, you can't divide anything by 0. That, that gives you, that's undefined. Uh, let's do uh, one more. What is, I'm just going to think of random numbers, 4 divided by negative 1. Well, 4 divided by 1 is 4, but the signs are different. So it's negative 4. I hope that helps. Now what I want you to do is actually try as many of these uh, multiplying and dividing negative numbers uh, as you can. And you click on hints, and it'll remind you of which rule to use. And if you think about, if you, and in, in, in your own time, you might want to actually think about why these rules apply and what it means to multiply a negative number times a positive number. And even more interesting, what it means to multiply a negative number times a negative number. But uh, I think uh, at this point, uh, hopefully, you are ready to, uh, to start doing some, some problems. Uh, good luck.